Welcome back. Nick and Lex here. Hello, everyone. How's it going Hello, so Marley. tonight? <laughs> tonight, we are going to be doing a reaction for Greybeard. Uh, this is his uh, That's Dan why request. He came into frame. This is why Marley came with us. He's like, oh, it's a Greybeard video. Let me uh, jump in. <laughs> um, this was his Dan member request on Patreon. Um, and this is going to be something very special. So, as a Dan member, you get a guaranteed song reaction per month, and then you also get to suggest an album for the poll where everyone votes for the full album. So he has suggested this album, Astral Weeks by Van Morrison, I don't even remember how many months in a row. Uh, not, not in a row, but here. Maybe now. let's vote for it and make so it wins. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so he said, okay. Maybe just to get you into it and maybe to get other people into it, let's do the first song of the album, Astral Weeks. Mm -hmm. So title track, first song of the album, what when, year? when, 1968. Because we just did a Joni Mitchell video and we didn't say the year or the 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 song, the name of the song. Oh. I, I just That's I so like crazy. remember. I yeah. think you're but right. we were talking about a lot of other stuff. Yeah. But um, do you know any Van Morrison? <sighs> Oh, Brown Eyed Girl. Brown Eyed Girl. Brown Eyed Girl is the only song that I can pinpoint directly to Van Morrison, but there may be others that are of his that I didn't know. Were. Now, I know one song, and I don't quote me on this, but I think it's Van Morrison. It's uh, Sitting at the Dark Elder Bay. Okay. Da -da -da -dee -da 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 you know this? Uh, doesn't ring a bell. Oh, no. Wow. Okay, because I used to play this with Bob and the oh, band, okay. and I was like, "What is this?" Like, oh, that's Van Morrison, and I'm like, he he was like, "You don't know who Van Morrison is?" I'm like, <laughs> "You're like, yeah. nope." -er. I know a Jim Morrison. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every time I heard Van Morrison, I was like, "Oh." Maybe they're brothers. Or... Me too. When you're like small and yeah. a child, you you yeah. think, oh, they they have the last name and they're musicians. They must be related. Exactly. So exactly. yeah, I thought the same thing. So I'm excited for this. Thank you, Greybeard, for all of your love and support. Thank you for being a Dan member. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching this. Please mm -hmm. like the video at any point during the video. If you like what we're doing, just hit the button, uh, leave a comment, share it with a friend, engage with the video in some way just to keep it moving in the algorithm we really appreciate it and let's get started yes all right first oh my god they're like really spoiling you huh album opener second album second opener. one in a row joni's right. was also an album opener yeah. all right here we go yeah if i ventured in the slipstream between the viaducts of your dream Where my world still runs crack And the dead center back road stop Could you find me? Or would you kiss my eyes Laying you down An egg shaker. From the far side of the ocean, if I put the wheels in motion, then I stand with my arms behind me, and I'm pushing out the door. Could you find? my eyes lay me down it's silence easy to be born again to be born again let you go standing with the look of Everest I'm talking to you to let me Showing pictures on the wall, a whispering in the hall. I'm pointing a finger at me. There you go, there you go. Oh, wow. 
Okay, I don't know where to pause, it, <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's um, uh, it's all about the lyrics here. It's, it's literally all, a poem. Yeah, it's a poem I'm with so great instrumentation and um, but it, yeah, it's like a circle. Mm -hmm. It's like a circle, a chord progression, and it's it's like a um a vamp. Okay, but it's not a vamp. It's just one chord. A like, circle. You know, okay, it's just a chord progression, and it so and it kind of like builds, uh -huh. builds and builds and builds, and then the voice even he kind of builds. Mm -hmm. You know, he mm -hmm. gets more emotional, yeah. gets more dramatic. Yeah. I love his voice. Me um, too. It's very unique. It yeah. sounds like I'm listening to Brown Eyed Girl because yes, I, I have always identified his voice with Yo Ma. Brown yeah. ad girl. Yeah, you know, he like, just I like when he does the it. Yeah, because you can hear like almost like the tone of his voice mm -hmm. in that same song, mm -hmm. you know? So Exactly. But I love the little, you know, you recognize the little flute there. Mm -hmm. Um the bass is doing really cool things. It's very a lot of interplay. And Between, the chords, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. just like the strumming. It's very simple, but it's it's just all about the lyrics. Yeah, yeah and it's very dreamy, kind of like um I don't know, very flower powery, mm -hmm. I guess. I can hear the just acoustic and it's that I don't know, time. you know, it is that time and and But it, when he talks about the boy, is that his boy? I don't know. I have no I, I haven't we didn't pull up the lyrics from the very beginning. Yeah. And I haven't been following them along as well as I wish I would have, but I, I'm sure that you guys are going to tell us what the song is about. We love yeah. to hear about the songs from you in the comments uh, versus looking it up and reading it on Wikipedia. It's a lot more fun learning through you. And um, and yeah, that's what I'm I I'm trying like to, to figure it out. Maybe he's like in love with this girl, but he's like, well, you know, she already is taken. And maybe he's like, well, I wish she was with me because... Be, to be born again hmm and then would you kiss would you kiss on my eyes mm. and then could you find me so it's obviously a song about someone that he's not with okay and this someone has a child and he's like I'm, uh, you're taking good care of him he okay. has clean clothes you're okay. putting on his okay. shoes okay. okay so that's when i'm but standing in your sad arrest i don't get that mm. I don't know. It's also because like my it's not my first language. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah it's, I apologize, mm -hmm. but yeah. Well, you know, you'll let you us guys know. But will tell us. but I just love. It's not just so much about the lyrics, but the way he delivers the lyrics, yeah. the sounds. Mm -hmm. He's a great singer. Yes, he you is. You know, and he's just a great portrayer of that emotion. Yes, and I because agree. a lot of times we don't listen to the lyrics because just the lyrics, just the noise you know whatever mm -hmm. of the vocalist is enough for me to be immersed right because right. it's music and i'm not even like and then on the second third fourth time mm -hmm. i'm like oh this is actually about this and yes I've, 
met people that have heard songs hundreds of times. They're like, I don't even know what that song is about, but I just love it. Exactly. You know? And it's also because a lot of what we listen to is so musically dense mm -hmm. that the lyrics just kind of add another level Instrument. to, yes, to what we are already trying to identify. And in this case, you know, like you said, since it's not so musically dense, it's a little bit lighter than... Yeah. That's usually what sense. I do when I when I listen to music and it's not so musically dense and it's a perfect description, mm -hmm. musically dense, then I can automatically kind of switch to the lyrics mm -hmm. because I'm like, well, I've heard now what this music is yes. about. And now I wanna, I'm actually going to pay attention to it. Like, it's more exactly. easy. And there's people that say you can do it at the same time. I don't think so. Not on the first list. Right, right. It's pretty, like, weird. Yeah. You can't really take in everything. You know, yeah, it's like it's hard. when you watch a movie just once. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. okay. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep Thank going. Thank you guys so much. And, uh, you know, we do have to pause for those of you who are new uh, around here. Just for copyright reasons, we're transforming the content by pausing. So, let's go. If I ventured in the slipstream Between the vine ducks of your dream Where a mobile steel rims crack And the ditch in the back road stop Could you find me? That fine. Would you a kiss of my eyes? That's To be born again. To be born again. The dog. To be born again. To be born again. In another world, dog. In another world. In another time. 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 I love it. Got a home on high. Ain't nothing but a stranger in this world. I'm nothing but a stranger in this world. Oh, yeah. I got a home on high. In another land. So far away. Beautiful arpeggio. So we up in the heaven. We up in the heaven. We up in the So much happening with the music. That was crazy good. What a good. great song. Yeah. What a great artist. Yeah. You know? Like, um, I don't think 
have we done any Van Morrison? I think I've done some in the marathons. Yeah. But you have never I really done. I don't believe we have. And he's just so easy to listen to. Yeah. You know, like this was such a breeze. It was very um And it was a welcoming. long song. It was. Yeah. yeah. But it but it felt very just natural and I don't know. It all just kind of flowed together very well, maybe because like you said, it had that circular effect going on yeah, but yeah. all of the added instruments in there were such a nice surprise once in a while you hear the violin the flute the guitar was soloing the the violin was yes adding in you know um little touches there the what's, <laughs> what's wrong at me, the angel. yeah he's like hey look at him he is disturbed because he just wants to be with we're us not it's giving ridiculous. him all the love he is a distraction oh yes there he is. Oh, oh brother. So, um, very But yeah, good also like the flute, of course, the violin, then even, I don't know if that was the bass that they were playing with an arc. That's what I didn't know. Because uh, it didn't... Is it called arc or arch? I don't know. It's arch. I don't know. You know, I, I don't... Know. I've never I thought played... it was the bow. That, that's the ah, bow. Yeah, in Spanish it's arco. Okay, okay, that's why. There you go. So yeah. in English so it's the bow. It's yeah. the bow, yeah. Um, um, but yeah. You can play a bass with a bow, you know that? I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an electric bass? Or no, a standing bass. I, an electric bass, that would be kind of weird because the strings are not on that angle. Mm -hmm. um, but like the cello, you know, the bass, yes. it, the stand-up bass. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean... Jimmy Page, who used to play guitar, oh. not really play, but he would make sounds with the bow. With the bow, oh, it's really brother. trippy. Wow! Um, but hey, this what a great, a great! I love it. I, it's yes. a great. It, it's great folk mm -hmm. music, exactly. and this is also something um, because we know Eric. He's been here with us, and uh, and he's a great friend, and and he has shared. You know, he used to listen to music like this with his dad, mm -hmm. and that's just like for me. I would love to like have someone react to music that I listen to with my mom mm -hmm. and see what what are they gonna say? Yeah. Like, do they like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a great experience, you know. It is as a listener, and also great experience for us, obviously, to be able to share this with you guys, and for us personally to have all of these videos, all of this footage that we can look back on. Sometimes in I look five at videos, years, ten years. And I'm like, wow, what was going on there? And mm -hmm. I'm like, we have long hair right now, short hair, mm -hmm. you know, um, the background looks different. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, this was when this was going mm -hmm. on. And it's really cool. And it is. It's just a beautiful thing because I used to film everything really short before we, we before we end. I used to film everything went from up from up when I was 16 to 20. And I had like all these guitar videos when i was learning how to play and my friends and what the stuff we used to do and my mom threw them away <laughs> by accident i don't know if she just thought uh, i was not gonna use you know she just and it broke my heart mm -hmm. because i was like oh my god and but that because of that i have such more vivid memories of those years because i used to watch them mm-hmm I used to connect the camera and we would just watch the videos and we'd giggle and be like, oh my God, we're so stupid and look at this and this was hilarious. <laughs> so fun. I kind of like relived it watching Multiple my own times. videos. Yeah. So those memories are very strong in my head. So I guess when we watch the stuff, you know, it's going to be like, wow, you know, I don't yeah. know if that makes sense. It totally does. It totally does. It's like when you have these memories and they're based on pictures that you've seen or based on things that people have told you, oh, when you were little, you used to do this, you know, and then you kind of have a picture of that and then you create a memory out of someone yeah. else's experience. I don't know, but <laughs> it's great. And it's great that Graveyard has memories uh, of his dad with this music. I love that. And I think we all have something whether it's music or sports or whatever yeah. it was that you shared with your loved ones and that thing just transports you to times with them you know yeah, so it's wonderful it's but 
Thank you. Thank you, Greybeard, for showing us this amazing song. I'm definitely curious about the rest of the album, not going to lie. Um, if you're on Patreon, uh, we'll be posting this month's poll very shortly uh, within the next few days. So please uh, go and vote. And um, if you're not on Patreon, consider joining. We have a bunch of full albums, documentaries. I would say 40. I always say 40. I used to say 30. <laughs> <laughs> and now I just say 40. Yeah. Um, um, because I, I, I just have to count them one day. We, and it, but yeah. it's like weird because Patreon doesn't really say full albums. I amount. add tags. Every time I add a full album, there's tags. So oh. you can just look up on the search bar full album and it'll come up. Wow. Yeah. So, but anyway, go. thank you everyone so, so much for everything you do for us. We appreciate you, whether you've watched us before or not. If you're still watching this after 20 minutes, thank you. Uh, like us, subscribe us, share us. We would love to see you on the next one. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.